Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna transform some dresses into very easy elastic band skirts. This can be done with girls' dresses, women's dresses, any age, any size. It's just a matter of how much material you have. I'm gonna be making some skirts from scratch, from just pieces of material as well, so hopefully those videos will be coming out shortly. Also, some of the skirts that I'm gonna be making later are gonna have shorts built in. But for these, I'm just transforming these dresses that are a little too small, too short for my daughter. She's nine years old. The size fits great at the top and actually the dresses still fit her very nicely except they're just too short. So instead of giving them away or donating them, I'm going to transform these into skirts. These are going to be elastic band skirts which is like the easiest skirt to make as far as I've heard. I've never done one of these before so this will be a new thing for me and I'm hoping that it's something that you can do as well. Hopefully it's inspiring or it's something that you can recreate. These are the dresses, these are the four dresses that I'm working with here. This is a Gap Kids dress. This one is from Children's Place and these two are from Zara. And this one is going to be the most complex one because it has this uh, lace overlay. I measured her waist and her waist is about 21 and a half to 22 inches around and the skirt length that I'm working with is approximately between 15 and 18 inches long. So 15 inches is right above the knee, 16, 17 is right at the knee and then 18 is right below the knee. So I don't want to go above this line with the actual skirt. This top part will end up being the waistband. So with the 18 inch length or whatever inch length that I want to use, I'm just going to add about two inches to the top part of that. And then I'm also going to cut the elastic band to be about an inch and a half to two inches shorter than the length of her waist. So with a 22 inch waist, I will cut the elastic band to 20 inches. And then with the length of the skirt depending on what it is so from here to the bottom is 15 inches I will add two inches to the top of that so I will cut off 17 inches here and I'll do the same with all the other dresses so if you're interested in how I'm going to transform these dresses into very easy elastic band skirts for my daughter then I hope you keep watching The first thing I'm doing is cutting off the top of each dress. For this one, I'm gonna be cutting off this extra piece of the sleeve on each side because I cut a little higher on this dress. Starting out with this more complex dress, this is the one I'm going to demonstrate on for the most part. I'm just cutting with scissors because this one had the two layers. Getting rid of the top part. I'm using a 3 4 inch and a 1 inch elastic. For three of them I use the 3 4 inch and for the last one of them I use the 1 inch. But I'm starting out with the material folded inside out. And um, that top edge, I'm just going to fold that over and pin it down. And here I'm just lining up the seams to make sure that it's even. And I'm going to add a pin there and then keep going all the way around.
did leave a small space here. This is where I'm gonna insert the elastic later. So this is how it looks when everything's pinned down. And I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch to close this up. And the only reason I'm using a zigzag stitch is because of that top layer of lace. Normally I would just use a straight stitch, but I needed to get as much material in this line as I could. So with that lace, I did need to use the zigzag stitch. And just sewing that up and making sure to leave that little space for the elastic to go in. And I'm just gathering the material, trying to keep everything together so that each piece is getting sewed. So this is how it looks when it's all done. The line isn't perfect, but I'm assuming that this will be covered a little bit once my daughter wears the skirt, so I didn't worry about it too much. So here I am um, measuring out the length of the elastic and I'm just doing 21 inches because I went in one inch from her measurement, which was approximately 22 inches. I just, I just um, averaged up just a little bit. And now I'm just adding a safety pin here and this is how I'm going to insert the elastic. So with that space there, small little opening, I'm just gonna insert the safety pin and shimmy it through, like pulling the material and then stretching out the safety pin and making sure that the elastic does not go all the way through. So leaving that tail piece out at the, um, at the end. And as you see, I'm just pushing the material and then stretching it so that the um, safety pin pulls through. And here I'm at the end of it, so it came out the other side. So I'm just pulling it apart and making sure that it's evenly distributed throughout the band. And then I'm gonna overlap the elastic here by about an inch. And then I'll be sewing a, a couple of zigzag lines here just to keep the elastic closed together. I'm just doing some back stitching over that. And then just pulling that waist apart so that the elastic fills through the whole waistband. And then I'm gonna take that little opening there and close that up with a zigzag stitch as well. This is how it's all looking. Again, not a perfect line, but it's gonna be fine. This is my first attempt at this, and this was, again, the most complicated dress to work with. So here I'm just closing up that little opening. And doing a little bit of back stitching here just to make sure it's sealed up because I'm really not tying many knots in the thread. Just wanna make sure it doesn't open up. So now I'm going to a straight stitch because I'm just gonna sew down um, the length of, or the width of the elastic so that it doesn't move inside. I'm only gonna do it in one spot. I'm, I'm hoping that um, holds it in place so that again, the elastic doesn't flip over on itself inside the band. And I'm gonna do this, these same steps on all of the dresses or skirt materials. And here's how it's looking on the inside. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'll show you how all the skirts look on my daughter. So she did a little bit of modeling just so you can see how they all look. So hopefully if she wears a shirt not tucked in, you won't even be able to see those extra stitching lines that kind of overlap each other and look a little bit crazy, but it, it fits her perfectly, so it's great. So I'm just gonna repeat the same steps for the other dresses, skirts, and I'm gonna go through those pretty quickly, but just to give you an idea, this one is a basic one because I, again, that first one was the only one that had two layers. This one I'm just using a straight stitch to sew up the waistband and making sure the lines are nice and even with the seams on the sides. 
and so keeping that opening there so that I can insert the elastic. I'm just gonna do everything pretty much the same. So if you wanna just see really quick in fast motion how I did the other three, then please keep watching. And I think on the gray one is the only one, yeah, the gray dress or skirt is the only one where I used the one inch elastic because I think I had a little bit of extra material there and I just wanted to see how it worked. They all fit great. So again, if you wanna see how they all look on her, just stay tuned to the end. And that is all. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.